Welcome, friends, to the Soul Talk podcast, a show where we explore and uncover the path to the heart, amplifying your conscience. Join me as we meet incredible souls who are in this journey and learn from their experience and different methods that will make you vibrate your heart. Let's get into it. Hi, everyone. This is Monica Ramirez, the Warrior of Love. And thank you for being in Soul Talk. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give us like, do a comment, and share it, please. So don't forget to subscribe, too, if you wanted to continue hearing different advices and different channels that I receive every time I ask, what are we going to be talking, talking today from my own guides? And today, we're going to be talking about uh, work that every single human being uh, needs and and needs to do that it is called shadow work. I'm not gonna say that the word sounds scary, but this is one of the terms that's why it is important to work with ourselves. And let me tell you what it is shadow work because it doesn't have to do with nothing scary from the external, it has to do with the internal. In the spiritual community, many people just meditate and they just don't want to hear bad things. They don't want to hear something happen to someone and nothing like that because it is a low vibe. I'm not going to deny that. It is a low vibe. The problem is that they, it is impossible to be meditating 24 hours a day for seven days a week. You have to pay bills, you have to, you're gonna go ups and downs and how you're gonna learn to grow because we learn from our mistakes. So it is impossible that you, we can sustain it at 24 seven. We came, we forgot that we came here to this plane because we came to learn, grow and expand so we can help ourselves in the healing process and also we can help others. So that is not sustainable and that's, not why we're here. It sounds great that you use a light bringer, you just have to be love and light, love and light, and, and that's it. And do not have to worry about anything or doing your inner work. You're not healing that inner trauma that we all have past. And just to remind you, everybody has a trauma. I don't care who they are, just being born, it is a trauma. We were in the womb, we didn't have to chew, we didn't have to go to the bathroom, we didn't have to pay bills, we don't have to do anything. We were inside of the womb but of our mother. In the moment we came out, we were feeling cold, we were feeling hungry, we were feeling all these kind of emotions that we did not felt before. So that created a trauma. So you see, if you're alive in this plane, here in this podcast, it is because we passed through that, every single human being. Forget about everything later on that happened to us or not. Just being born, it is a trauma. It is important that we have to explore those hiding aspects that we have inside of us. Why they're hiding? Because we have put them in there. Those are the traumas that we have from, so many of them from our own childhood, things that we have passed, it can be coming from our parents or any authority figure or our bullies at school or our first love or the last love or the jobs or whatever it comes from there. And we, and we have, and we all have that different issues, triggers, patterns that we are following all our lives. And if we don't work with them and we try to hide them and shove it down so like that we don't feel it. And this happened more to the people that are more cerebral, more than emotional, because they don't want to feel. And what happened? They closed their heart. I have met many people that are only cerebral. And they're only cerebral is because they don't want to open their heart and feel. Why? Because it is painful. That talks about a deeper trauma that they have hide from themselves. Forget about hiding from the world. And then whatever other people think about you, or feel it is not your problem. Yes, but when you are hiding that emotions from your own self, 
you're not going to be able to work that. That's why we call shadow work, because we all have good things and bad things. You can put it light or you can call it shadow. It doesn't matter. It is the same thing. It is the same concept. So it was being called shadow work from Carl Jung because he was. we were talking about the same thing, that it is all the emotions that are lower vibration, that is our fear, our jealousy, our competition, envy, shame, blames, etc. Those are the shadow work. And we all feel different emotions. It doesn't matter who you are. We Even if you've been working with yourself for years, once in a while you're going to get triggered by something. Or you're going to be scared of something. Or you're going to feel not good enough sometimes. And you know what I mean? So it is important that we stop hiding those aspects of ourselves. And that is to shadow work. That's how it's been called. Or we can call it therapy, or we can call it coaching, or we can call it whatever you want to call it. But Carl Jung defined it as shadow work. There is nothing spooky in that unless we have skeletons in our own inner closet <laughs> that we may have to see, we may have to confront and, and, and observe so we can release them and we can understand it. And the next time, we encounter the same trigger, the same emotion, the jealousy, or not feeling good enough, or feeling competition, or feeling envy towards someone, instead of affecting us, we can react in a different way. So if we want to improve our relationships with everybody else, and we don't explode every time that we feel those triggers, we need to actually do that shadow work. So we need to observe why this person it is triggering me. And that's where the ego becomes a very, very important tool to use. Because the ego will mark you when you are going to get triggered by something or feeling insecure or feel envy or jealous or whatever emotion, fear, whatever emotion you're feeling inside. So your ego is going to show you those emotions and if you use the ego as a tool to work with yourself, you're not going to project your emotions to someone. Because at the end, those are yours. They're not the person that trigger you. They can be annoying. I'm not going to deny that people are not annoying or inconsiderate. Yes, but that's their issue to work with themselves. Your issue is to work with your own triggers or setting boundaries or learning to love yourself. Those are things that you have to work with yourself and not be afraid of your own shadows. We need to learn to know who we are so we can make those changes to know, okay, this triggered me. Why it triggered me? Oh, it's because it's taking me to a memory from our past. Oh, it's because that person remind me as an ex-partner that I have. And reality doesn't have to, do, that person never even met your ex-partner but you did and maybe it was not a more pleasant relationship that you have so that's why you have to work with yourself why because the new person why you're going to close down because they look different they look the same or the same action is the same so every time we learn a lesson it is to actually react in a different way. And if we observe it and we say, what do we learn today, every night? That's what it's something that I do. You are going to be able to react different the next time they present itself. I just have to give you a warning about using the ego as a tool. The ego, it can be the best tool that you we have got even better sometimes than our hands if we know how to use it. Why? Because the ego do not like to control us. The ego do not like changes and it will instigate fear and limitations and remind you all the mistakes that you have done in the past. But the thing is, if you are aware of that, 
he was also very obedient. And you can tell him, take a walk. And believe me, it always worked. Every time I work with my clients and I tell them their egos is the nagging voice, tell them to take a walk. And it always works. So do that to your ego and work with that part that is making you feel uncomfortable. Where is this is making me feel uncomfortable? Where this is coming from? And you're going to find out that it comes from a past trauma, a past memory, a past trigger from with someone else that does not have to do with this person. So that is going to help us to improve our relationships. It is going to help us to, in our personal growth, because we're going to become better human beings. We're going to learn how to love ourselves completely, even with our own shadows, because we're going to accept ourselves. How many times you don't go to the mirror in the in, in any mirror and you look at yourself like, oh my God, I have white hairs. Oh, I, I am starting to have wrinkles or this or that, or I'm too fat or too thin or too whatever. So if you become aware in your shadow and your shadow work, you're gonna say, oh, I'm talking to myself in this way. Maybe if I talk to myself in a different way and I start accepting that my white hairs, like, yeah, it took me a, a lot to get where I am. Believe me, when I was young, I did a bunch of mistakes. I don't wanna go back there. So I'm very proud of my, my white hairs that took me where I am now. And my wrinkles, that goes with that. And if I have wrinkles here, it's probably because I'm laughing too much. If I didn't have wrinkles in that area, it's because I need to laugh more. <laughs> you see? But accepting who we are, we learn how to love ourselves. And that is going to give you a different kind of freedom that you have ever felt. And that freedom, that love, self-love and acceptance that you have to yourself, you worth the shadow work. So remember every time that you are rejecting the shadow work because it sounds too scary and too spooky. It is your own shadows. It's not a shadows from outside. It's your own traumas. And if you really want to release all those traumas, you need to do that shadow work. And if you need more help, the first level of Path to the Heart is a transformational system that I created. That's what we do. We do shadow work, precisely. And then it comes, uh, there is a second level and a third level, but in those we go more metaphysic and more spiritual and even multidimensional. But the first level, it is mainly to do shadow work. You don't have to do this alone because this road it can go really, really scary when you are working with your own sadness, your own grief, with your own feeling not worthy. You work, but if you don't give that opportunity to yourself, you're not. You're gonna be too scared to do that shadow work. So you don't have to do this alone. There are options. Have to the heart. It is an option. Thank you so much. This is Monica Ramirez, the warrior of love, and I am here to serve. Thank you so much. Don't forget to write a comment. I wanted to hear your, your ideas. What do you think about that, about the shadow work? And subscribe, please. I will appreciate that. That will help me a lot in the algorithms. Thank you so much. This is Monica Ramirez, the warrior of love. Mm -hmm.